All right, Internet Humans, hello. This is kind of interesting, but the reason I can do things like just run forever is because I'm a plant-based athlete. And the reason I'm getting stronger is because first, I only use pea, hemp, and bean protein. None of that soy shit. You get some nutter butters in you. And like some, uh, yeah, like Greek yogurt, milk. Okay, so you kind of want to try to get not dairy products, but it's tough because like everything has dairy in it, whatever. But uh, we got oat milk, so that's like a little bit. Oh, these shit. hemp seeds. These things have so much protein in them. Look at that. Look at that. That's nonsense. So yeah, uh, it's weird, but like the best way to be a professional athlete is to, like drink your food and like blenders. I don't know. It's actually how it works. All right, internet. So uh, we're we're Alaskans, but we're in the great democratic state of California right now, where they have tons of silly uh, bureaucratic rules. Anyway, we have been breaking those bureaucratic rules. But one of the rules they told us was if you don't pay your rent for three months, they start evicting you with lawyers. I didn't pay my rent for two months, and then this month I'm going to pay my rent for the start of month three, which this is about right because it's about three thousand a month, a little less than that. But they are also saying that now they want to make it another $1,000 of legal fees, which are vague and like they don't even know what they mean. So I'm going to talk with the leasing office to hopefully not have to pay an extra 1000 Yo, alright, you guys know that guy, Ali? Ali Abdal? Anyway, he's a YouTube legend. I'm going to throw a little clip right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the extra mile, I'm gonna finish that set, I'm gonna go for the personal record, whatever that thing might be. When it comes to young Charles Xavier, i.e. in the X-Men first class series of movies, because I haven't read the comic books, maybe I should. What does he do? Well, he shares stuff without fear, he's like a teacher, fundamentally. He's quite motivational and inspiring, like, he just sort of brings great vibes and energy to the people around him. He literally brings people together, like, he invented a school, built a school for gifted <laughs> and talented people. Um, and bring them together and he sees the value in everyone. That's really nice. That's the sort of identity I'd like to embody when it comes to filming videos or hanging out with my team or like doing work related stuff. And like really what it is, is he is going through and trying to plan out how to act as an entrepreneur. And little things like this, I need to start adding in so that way I can get all my ideas in a very organized manner because that's actually how you build companies. Is, uh, yeah, you gotta put it down on paper and then once it's down on paper, you're able to budget. Once you're able to budget, you're able to fund. Once you're able to fund, you're able to execute. Once you execute, you have the life you wanted as an entrepreneur. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely our first time through the process. Not really the first time, but I've been a failure in business three times over trying to start a business. And I've tried to start the same business every time. It's been still in, and it's going to be, well, it's going to start now as a digital media company. And we'll grow from there. Okay, here we are. We found it. See if they let us in. No, you gotta schedule it? Why? <sighs> That's not fun. But there is a cool pool and like a medium subpar weight room right behind here. Oh, barbecues. Dude, Spectrum Center is honestly so nice. What's goody interwebs? It's uh, 2 p.m. We've been trying to learn some prompting to make cool thumbnails for our vlogs and that's going good we've also rearranged the patio so we, oh my gosh look at all this armpit smell bro this is gross <laughs> Ew. so next thing we're gonna do is exercise um the goal is strength training today all right it's like five o'clock we're done with our nap have you guys seen star wars before i need to figure out how to make this into an obi-wan braid i don't know if it's long enough but i need to cut the rest of my hair and then we're gonna go run that's what's coming next pretty much like running takes a couple weeks of doing it every day to kind of get back into it and then you just gotta do it and then you feel really good but you gotta eat more food if you run and now that we're making more money we can afford to feed ourselves let's go so now that we can buy enough food to eat we can train harder all right, step one of the workout is you make yourself really tired on the bike, and then we warmed up with basketball dribbles. Next part. The next part, you just take a 45 pound plate, and you like twist it, like, do lunges and stuff, and just like tire out your body. All right, and then we finish it off with some shadow strokes. Um, we're gonna go edit computer work a little bit, and then we're going on a run. All right, internet, a little philosophical prediction before this run. What's gonna happen when AI gets going a little bit? And 
what you're seeing pop up right now on the internet is a lot of AI automation going on. So whenever there's a big revolution, it's kind of exciting. Um, the world always gets a lot better. And we had this really weird glitch from the like Henry Ford, uh, Rockefeller, Carnegie, from that era. They had this weird thinking that you had to like dominate and conquest and expand, expand, expand. This just, it's a real perverted, egotistical way to think. And well, if you want to come at this from like an atheist point of view, I think the best religion out there for an atheist would be that something like what Yuval Harari describes as dataism. And an ism is philosophically what it means is it's a set of beliefs or it's like an algorithm that has to pertain to what ought to be done. So everybody intrinsically wants to be good and that's that's an inner uh, human desire, but we're in a postmodern age where it's acceptable to have all these different kinds of versions of how to think about how to be a good person. And if you don't know how to be a good person and you don't believe in God, Yuval Harari is a great, great option. Dataism pretty much just says empirical science and it says look at the world and take it in as much as you can and then analyze it objectively and then from there you can like really have this you're becoming a creator and religious thinkers what they think is that man is made in the image of a creator so there's an innate desire inside human to create and from an atheist point of view if you think about the idea of god it's like this all-knowing can do everything thing which is really what the tech is it's exactly what the nerds are building they're building well it's being built right now it's pretty much done honestly like GPT is essentially, it knows everything that humans have to offer. It's like Omni, Omni, it knows all of the knowledge we have, and we can challenge it. So it's kind of like you got, well, your creator powers just went crazy because now you have access to human knowledge. And there's this really cool word, it's called esoteric. And there's exoteric, which is like what all the confused people think. And then there's esoteric, which is the key similarities between uh, the elite, uh, competent, expert, the people who raise up to the highest level. So for instance, an esoteric Hindu belief is you're not supposed to eat animals, you're supposed to eat plants. Also an esoteric uh, Tom Brady belief and Novak Djokovic belief, plant power. You don't want to eat animals, animal products. I don't know how I feel about eggs, because like eating baby chickens, it just feels like you get so much nutrients from like consuming a chicken, so it's like, mm. like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just saying that if you put the word esoteric into GPT-4 or GPT-3, whichever one you have, or maybe it's like the future and this is like GPT-7, well, that would be nuts if you're watching this after the fact. I guess everybody's watching this after the fact. Anyway, we're gonna go run because we're plant power and we can do it forever because we just put esoteric into GPT-4 and it's, it's not that complicated. So Okie dokie, uh, internet jokies. This is where life gets a little bit unfair for all of you because it's going on 9 o'clock and I'm still like energized. Well, I'm a little bit tired, but I have enough energy to go and I'm going to do one more workout. So it's 9 o'clock. Most humans are being unproductive, lazy, blahs, probably watching TV and not doing much with their lives. And we are just, just still going. And that's the power of like a scientific diet. There's a reason why Tom Brady and Novak Djokovic are the goats of the millennials. And it's because they got their scientific diets. I'm trying to be the generational goat of the daily vlog for Generation Z. I think Casey Neistat did it for the millennials and I'm next up. Anyway, uh, catch you. Stuck in this.